The volume of air flowing into the lungs during a breath can be represented by the polynomial function V of t equals negative 0.041t cubed plus 0.181t squared plus 0.202t, where V is the volume in liters and t is the time in seconds. In part A, use a graphing calculator to graph V of t. State your window settings. We will use a graphing calculator to graph this function. If we graph the function using standard window settings, we get the graph shown. We can see the x-intercepts, the y-intercept, and the n-behavior. These window settings are adequate to clearly show the graph. However, we are only interested in the region between 0 seconds and 6 seconds. This is the only part of the graph that corresponds to the breath. Set x min equal to 0 and x max equal to 6. Reapply zoom fit to redraw the graph. Now we'll move on to part B. What is the maximum volume of air inhaled into the lung? At what time during the breath does this occur? Let's continue with the graph we found in part A. The maximum volume of air can be found at the point shown. We can find this point using the maximum command of the graphing calculator. The maximum point is 3.42, 1.17. At 3.42 seconds, the maximum volume of 1.17 liters is inhaled. Now we'll move on to part C. How many seconds does it take for one complete breath? Let's continue with the graph we found in part A. The breath ends when the volume returns to zero liters. This is the rightmost x-intercept. Use the zero command in your graphing calculator to find this point. The x-intercept occurs at the point 5.340. One breath takes 5.34 seconds to complete. Now we'll move on to part D. What percentage of the breath is spent inhaling? Let's continue with the graph we found in part A. It takes 3.42 seconds of inhaling to reach the maximum volume. The total time for the breath is 5.34 seconds. Divide 3.42 by 5.34 to get the percentage. Sixty-four percent of the breath is spent inhaling.